We've told you about World War II veteran Cletus Bailey a few times over the years. Last week I went to talk to him once again, this time about a recent trip to Belgium and Germany where he fought almost 80 years ago in World War II. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good. 97 years on this planet. 97 and three quarters. I'll be 98 here pretty soon. You're a young man. Well, thank you very much. That's inspiring. Cletus Bailey, he has a story to tell. Well, the World War II veterans are disappearing at a pretty rapid rate. He grew up in McDonald. This is him as a baby at the old train station, rocking chair and all. McDonald has changed a bit. So... As Cletus. Kind of reminiscing myself, yeah. He has a dining room table full of memories from almost 80 years ago fighting in World War II. Company K of the 333rd Infantry Regiment. They wrote books about Cletus and his friends. Turner was hit in the leg. Nobody else was scratched. Cletus Bailey joined Company K as a replacement soldier. He wasn't killed on the spot, but he died a short while later. He got into the war just after the Battle of the Bulge, and the fighting was hard right away. I thought that I'd uh, <laughs> take a break with, you know, the night before. Uh, I just... <laughs> I just got, was getting acquainted with him, just kind of batting the breeze. He got killed the next day. He came home from the war, got out of the Army, then later joined the Air Force and served during Vietnam. He worked in accounting, a much different job than fighting in the infantry in World War II. But in war, no matter if you're on the front lines or in an office visit that was then Saigon, danger is never far away. As I left, the sergeant that I was talking to, a rocket came in and it wiped out the Killed here, wiped out the whole corner of the building. It is very close to me. There hasn't been too much time since the first time I met Mr. Bailey. When you find someone like Cletus Bailey, you want to talk to him as much as you can while you can. I'm just glad to be here. And, uh, and I wonder sometimes, you know, why, why me? We first talked to him a little more than a year ago. All right, we're going to put you right over here. He was on his way to France to visit the places he fought in World War II. Since then, we've told more of his story. To my friends that didn't make it, I just I hate to think about them. He's been honored by a local congressman, then went back to Europe in December, this time to the Netherlands, Germany, and Belgium. Definitely different circumstances. In this country, we honor our nation's heroes. We hold parades on holidays. But do we do enough when we say thank you for your service? Does our gratitude look like this? This is a line of people waiting to get Cletus and other World War II veterans autographs. We were well received and people show how grateful they are and, and appreciative. It's, it's obvious and, and that gives you a good feeling. Mr. Bailey's family says the line was out the door waiting to meet these heroes while they still have the chance to say thank you one more time. Cletus Bailey will go back to Europe coming up in June. He'll go to France for the 79th anniversary of D-Day. If you want to see previous stories we've told about Cletus Bailey, you can find those on my Facebook page right now.